Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to make 32-bit semi-transparent images to use as overlays in iMovie. So a 32-bit image is an image that has four layers. The first three are red, green, and blue, and the fourth one is transparency. A low value for transparency means you can see through that pixel, and a high value means it's opaque, you can't see through it at all. So you can create images that have a transparent background and only have graphics on certain parts of the image by creating a semi-transparent 32-bit image. Now, usually you would use a program like Photoshop to create one, but not everybody has Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. Let's look at a tool called Seashore, which is a branch of the free open source GIMP image editor, and use that to create a 32-bit semi-transparent image. Now the first thing that Seashore asks you is the width and height of the image. Now since we're going to use this in iMovie, iMovie's picture in picture feature works best when the image is the same dimensions, either 16 by 9 or 4 by 3, as the video you're making. So for instance, if it's 16 by 9, you want to create something that is also 16 by 9. So at 640, 360 will work. Also another uh, good value will be 1280 by 720. If it was 4 by 3 you would want to do maybe 640, 480 as your width and height. We also want to check off transparent background. This will create the 32-bit image so that we have a semi-transparent result that we can use in iMovie. Notice the checkerboard background. That's kind of universal for all graphics programs to show that there's a semi-transparent background here that uh, will show through to the image below it. So for this example, let's just create a simple circle uh, that we can use to circle an item in the movie. We'll use the circular selection here and I'll just grab a large circular area and I want to fill up the entire image as much as I can because uh, in iMovie we'll be able to shrink this down to any size. But if we made a smaller one, it would be more difficult to handle. So now that we've created that, I'm going to use some modifiers here uh, and use Control and Option to subtract a little bit from this. So I'm going to create something just a little bit smaller than that, like so. And now I've got this selected area. Like that, I'm going to fill it in with a color there, and I've got my, my circle. So now, so of course, it's transparent out here and in the middle of the circle, and all we have is this black band around here. The next step is we want to export, and we want to export it in a format that supports 32-bit images and will work in iMovie. So PNG would be that format, and we will save it as circle.png. So now here I am in iMovie, and the idea is I want to take this graphic here on my desktop and use that to circle something in the video at a certain point. And the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure in my iMovie preferences that I have Show Advanced Tools turned on, otherwise I can't use Picture in Picture. Then I will drag and drop this to the point in the video where I want to circle something, and one of the options I have is Picture in Picture. And now you can see it appear here above the video, and this is the portion of the video in the timeline that it appears. And I can see it here in the preview area. I can see my circle appear, and you can see how the transparent area shows through. And I can grab the anchors in the corners to stretch them, and it'll stay in the same ratio, but I can make it a little bigger, a little smaller, so perhaps for something like a circle like this, I can actually uh, reuse it at different sizes. And also, as I select the video here, I can press I to bring up the inspector and add something like a dissolve in and dissolve out for that image. So now it'll dissolve in nicely, circle something, and dissolve out at the end. So I hope you find this technique useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.